How you doing, fam bam? It's springtime. It's about time for you to start cleaning out your PC, especially if it's been sitting throughout the winter. You won't believe how much dust can build up in your PC. Not only can it affect your temperatures, it could also affect even your performance. There are some things that you will need to physically clean out your PC, and I recommend most of the stuff that you use to build your PC, you wanna bring out there with you. Let me show you some of the supplies that you will need in order for you to clean out your PC. One of the most important things, of course, is you're gonna need a nice air duster. You're gonna need an air duster. They got newer models better than this one because this is still wired. If you prefer wired, that's great too because you'll get unlimited supply of power as much as you need to air dust your components. And you will also need the uh, peripherals or attachments for this, they have some really neat attachments that you can use for your PC to clean it out, such as one of my favorite ones is this one right here. If you, as you can see, it's like a straw and at the end, it's really, really good for cleaning out the RAM slots because that can also build up dust in there too. Also, if you live in drier areas or if it's around more of a dry time, or a dry climate in your area, it's always good to have static wristbands unless you want to keep yourself grounded to the PC. This is, you, even if you're dusting off your PC with the air duster, you will want to wear, wear something like this. Otherwise, you risk damaging a lot of your components and then it can cause some really critical damage because of the static electricity. So you want to make sure you get something like this, like a static wristband, if you feel that you might be clumsy enough to where you forget to grab your PC case to where you're constantly grounded. I also recommend using some of the tools that you use to build your PC because a lot of these parts you will, it's a lot better for you to take them off. So that way you're able to really get a, get a deep cleaning in your PC and you'll see how much of a better improvement you'll see. And last but not least, you can get something like this. I will also post all the items that I've listed right here in the description box down below because it is super important to have your PC clean. But what this is, is really just some microfiber cloths, some really nice quality ones, such as these. And the reason why you want these is because if you decide to clean any of your components, these are lint free and these won't really scratch anything inside because a lot of the components in there are really just plastics. So it's not good to use like one of those like microfiber uh, towels because it can cause some scratching. So the very first step, of course, you got to turn off your PC. All you have to do is go down to the start button and you want to shut it off. Of course, you wanna go in the back of your PC tower and you wanna shut off that power supply. So that way you don't end up accidentally shorting anything. So you wanna make sure you turn off that power supply switch in the back of your PC too. And also I will have a lot of these components down in the description box down below, especially if you're looking to clean out your PC real good. Not only will it increase your gaming performance or increase better workflow for you, it will if you show your PC love, it will love you back and it will last as long as you want it to. And if you find this content very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're not part of the big wonderful fan band where we love to talk PC and tech stuff, make sure you get down and hit that subscribe button for more. But let's dig right into it. So let me show you exactly how dirty it can get in this PC case, because this is, uh, because when the front cover here is where I have my radiator. So let's pop this open and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Here. Take a look at that. And this is one of the reasons why you should really, really care about cleaning out your PC because you can see all the dust that I collected through the winter time. So as you can see, it really, really needs to be cleaned out. So for something like this, I usually recommend taking off the screen here and we can pop this off. As you can see, it's magnetized here. Take a look at these fans. That's why it's important to have a dust filter on your PC because it makes it so much easier to clean. But of course you can see some 
you, you can see all kinds of hair. You can see different things getting into the radiator here. And that's why it's good to blow it clean. But of course, first thing, you want to take off the side glaze. So you want to take off the side glaze here. That's something else I also recommend before you start blowing in. Because otherwise, all the dust will just blow into the PC and it has nowhere to exit. We'll put this, we'll put this on the side. Typically, I like to keep it on the down here on the deck. Keep everything on the PC side clean. So take off these screws here. You can already see all the dust that's spreading just from being out here. There we go. Usually, I like to lay the, the glass because this is tempered glass. Tempered glass still can shatter. So you want to make sure you put it, you want to lay it flat on a place where you're not going to step. I wouldn't suggest leaning it up like this up against your rails if you're doing it out on your deck or something. Lay it flat somewhere where you're not going to step. So that way you don't have to worry about the wind blowing it down and shattering your side, the side of your case. Now we got plenty of airflow going here. Now we're going to plug in the duster. We're going to try to blow. We're going to try to blow out all the, uh, all that dust out of this PC. The camera kind of cut out on me, but you can grab a nice new microfiber cloth here. It comes with a nice case. They're very, very easy to clean and everything. So they're really not too bad to take care of. Now, if this wasn't too bad, as you saw earlier, there's a lot of dust over here. I just wiped it down and you want to make sure everything is nice and dust free really nice thing about this microfiber cloth is that it does not rip any kind of fibers into the PC or it doesn't or if you're using a q-tip or something you don't have to worry about it ripping into the PC or anything like that that way you don't get any of that extra fluff unnecessary stuff that you don't want in your PC so you want to make sure you get everything nice and clean here you're gonna see how much better performance you could get out of it. That's why I recommend these microfiber cloths. They're so easy to take care of. Now we got another spot to clean out here. We got all this dust to clean out. So it's a good idea to, to pop out your RAM as well to just make sure that you get all the dust in there. Uh, it's probably a good idea also to take out the back case so that way you don't got the dust just blowing right back into the case. Now we got some good airflow going. You can actually see the wires and everything in the back of the case now. So let's blow all the dust in out of here. As you can see right here, I kind of scratched this. That's from using a microfiber towel. Not this one, the ones where it has the actual fibers on there. And that's why I don't recommend it because as you can see, it kind of scratched this up. But I mean, it was my own doing, so it's kind of my fault. But I gotta replace this. I'm gonna, I do want to replace this cooler anyway. Um, as I was saying, you want to take out these ram sticks and then you could even add the attachment that even this right here, as it is perfect for it. Not too bad but you can always make sure to wipe it down with the microfiber cloth just to make sure you don't got any dust in there doesn't look like there's any dust containing in there they're still relatively clean so that's not too bad you proceed to do the same with the uh, next ramp sticks so after I dusted all this off, I made sure to wipe this clean with a nice dry microfiber cloth. And as you can see, it looks like a brand new component. 
Don't forget, you can also take out your graphics card here, and then you can also dust out the fans that's under here. There we go. There it is. That's the beautiful graphics card. It looks like it's not too bad of shape. But you want to make sure you get everything nice and clean in here. Of course, if you love to game or use this for premiere editing or anything like that, you want to make sure you clean the inside of it. Got that seated properly. So as you can see here, I wasn't really too satisfied with the fans. So you can even take them apart and wipe them down because on this side, it seems like they kind of stick the dirt. And what I personally do is you can get the hardest spots with the screwdriver and the microfiber. Just don't push on it too hard to the point where you're gonna rip it. See how much better it's coming out to look compared all the dust that was on there originally and you can proceed with the rest of the fans if you so choose to you want to get all the dust off of it make sure you dust it out in the uh in the back so it doesn't go back into your pc That looks a whole lot better. I like it to put some 3M tape behind this magnetic that doesn't just hang there. Now it's time to put the whole PC back together. And don't forget to also clean out some of your components that you can use to clean, such as your keyboards, whatever peripherals that you have. Those are very good items to especially if it's a day that you're it's a chance that you're cleaning out your PC anyway so make sure you just clean out those critical components just like this Corsair keyboard right now that I have the K100 I'm going to clean this out as you can see it built up some dust hopefully you found this video very useful if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to join the big wonderful fan bam where we love to talk about tech and PC stuff, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button and make sure you don't forget to hit the notification bell. Make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here and it's the same as my IG and my TikTok as well. Bam Bam, guys, do you need to do some spring cleaning to your PC? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching.